Friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Gent Sense. Are you ready to be either extremely disappointed or not extremely disappointed? Yeah. Today I've got a fragrance haul, a clone haul. Uh, this is one that I've mentioned in a couple videos. I ordered these a while back, got them in, and just haven't had time to do it until now. Sounds familiar. Never mind, that's actually not even a good joke. So basically what we got going on here is two lines from two different brands. These ones are from Paris Corner and these three are from Fragrance World. You put it together, you got Paris Fragrance Corner World. That also does not sound good. So yeah, these three right here, uh, as you can probably tell, are clones of Amouage fragrances hence the presentation style on these. And then these two here are supposed to be Louis Vuitton clones. So we're gonna work on through these and see how Paris Corner did with these. And we're gonna see how uh, Fragrance World did with these. And these were all acquired from Fragrance by .ca. So I'll link these in the description. Uh, you can also find them at fragflex.com and you can use the code GS11 at that website for 11% off the whole site. So interestingly, these Paris Corner ones are North Stag. So it says on the back there, North Stag Expressions. And I have one North Stag fragrance uh, that Paris Corner did, which is actually a Spirit of Dubai clone. That one's really, really, really well done. Paris Corner is sometimes a little hit or miss. Some of their clone fragrances are just killer and other ones make you want to be killed. <laughs> so we'll see uh, what's going on here. We'll, we'll check that quality. I'm gonna get out some handy dandy tester strips here and you know, let's just crack into it. Let's see what's going on. We'll just start uh, from here and work our way down. Yeah, there we go. Ugh. Did I just dent the box with it? I don't think so. Yeah. So this first one is North Stag Expressions Trois. Number three, extrait de parfum. Uh, actually, the, the box here, the presentation looks really nice. It feels sturdy. It doesn't feel cheap at all. Let's open it up. Ah, get away. Yeah, box looks nice. Uh, reflective, colorful, uh, sturdy feeling. It's nice quality. On the side of the box here, it's difficult to read in the light. It, it's so reflective, you can't make out everything on here, but it says uh, top of bergamot, orange and citron, mid of ginger and aroli and cinnamon and a base of black tea, ambroxan, olibanum and guyac wood. I promise I can read. It's just, it's hard to make out. All right, now on the back, you've got the sticker of authenticity. Let's open this bad boy up. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Ooh, like magic. It's the cabinet to Narnia. So you have uh, this, Oh, okay, lifts up like so. And it says, as the sun kisses your skin, the scent evolves, revealing the warmth of the Mediterranean. All right, and here's the bottle. A lot going on there. Bottle has a, a matte finish to it, kind of a mint green coloration going on there. And the cap is a little mirror. Let's go ahead and spray this on. All right, let's do it. There we go. Oh, oh, okay. You can smell a bunch of citrus the second that hits the air. Oh, 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 wait a second. Hello. Maybe North Stag is just like uh, Paris Corner's absolute fire. This is really superb. Off a tester strip, this is fantastic. This is uh, supposed to be Imagination, again, Louis Vuitton. And uh, that is just fantastic. The citrus in there with the ginger, it's sweet, it's rich, it's juicy, it's bright, it's fresh. No tartness in there. A Little bit like a citrusy beverage for summertime with you know a little extra sugar in there. Oh man. All right. Ooh. That is sick. So uh, let me grab this one. Woo! So this is the North Stag one that I was talking about before. Hypnotic Oud Quinn's 15. And uh, this one is Spirit of Dubai Maidan. And this is very, very, very good. 
very, very nice. So yeah, uh, so far, North Stag, Paris Corner, is the good stuff. This is, this is the goods. That's great. Yeah. Okay. All right, I cleared my mind. We have Abrage Valor, and this is uh, Fragrance World again. So if you're a bro, then you could get these fragrances and you could be like, oh, that's just a brage. Like, like a uh, brage, brage, yeah. So this is Valor, let's open it up. There we go. Woo. So done kind of in the old school way of homage boxes as far as how it's set up. Looks really nice, got the name of the house, name of the fragrance size and concentration on the front. Fragrance World logo up top, got the sticker on the back and batch code on the bottom. Opens up like so, and uh, there it is, look at that. So this one should smell like Interlude, the Blue Beast. And uh, it's very obvious when you take a look, isn't it? So you got the name of the fragrance, name of the house there on the front, uh, a little bit of a scuff mark going on. Got the sticker on the bottom, cap slides into place. And I would not try to pick that up by the cap. Yeah, let's give it a spray, see how this is. Ooh. Got a few sprays. We started off on an extremely high point. So uh, <laughs> I'm feeling bad for this one right now. All right, let's 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 give it a whiff. That's well done. Yeah, it's got that, uh, it does have that interlude opening, which some people are gonna be like. <gasps> <laughs> the opening of interlude was always uh, potentially a little off-putting, could scare some people away. Because you had that wood in there, that smokiness, that incense, that oregano. That was really what could mess people up. And that's popping through here as well. Another one that's extremely close to the fragrance that it is emulating. This is obviously not going to appeal to as many people as this because Interlude is more niche <laughs> for a more niche audience. It's very close though to interlude. That opening, man, the opening of this one is just gonna be love it or hate it, just like the OG. It's got a nice push to it, real strong. A little animalic touch also. Yeah, there's like a little dirtiness underneath it all. There is, I have seen a uh, an interlude black iris clone that is also done by Fragrance World. I want that. I didn't even realize it until I started to do the video. Uh, Valor Black Iris, so <laughs> that's that's on the short list. Another one that's really well done. This one, though, I think is just, oof, that's really, really, really nice. Uh, let's keep it moving, see how the next one is. This is Brackish. So yeah, Abrage Brackish. This would be Amouage Bracken. You'll love how that goes back and forth. Abrage Amouage, Abrage Amouage. So here we go. I actually like the presentation on this one a bit more. I, I like the non-glossy look on the front of this one as compared to this one. Not that this one looks bad, you know, especially when we're talking about the history of clone fragrance packaging. I just think this one is a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Got all the info on the back there. Opens up like so. Oh yeah, look at this one. Look at, look at Brackish. That's a step up. See? Yeah, look at that. Oh, Put a little more into the Brack. Brack, uh, what's his name? From Space Ghost. Is it just Brack? Yeah, Brack from Space Ghost. This is his fragrance, Brackish. Looks even more amouage-ish than the last one. Uh, it's not really a word, amouage-ish. Cap, especially. Oh, it's got a nice heft to it. Uh, yeah, still wouldn't pick that up by the cap though. Let's spray this one on. Bracken is one of those that I actually always liked. So this one I am probably the most excited for as far as the three Amash ones goes. I can't say it, I'm Wash, I'm Wash. Ooh, yes, <laughs> that is it. That is exactly how I remember Bracken. <sighs> yep, that fougere quality just pops the second that you smell this. It's classy, it's masculine, it packs a real punch, a real wallop. So when you spray it, it's, you know it's there. This is not one of those ones that just subtly hangs back, right? That woodiness, the spices, a good amount of cloves coming out here, it smells banging, the quality here is spot on. It is like Interlude, a fragrance that is more specific to somebody's tastes. It's not one of those fragrances that's made uh, for literally everybody to wear super easy every place that they go. Uh, but if you like Bracken, you will like this. This is very, very, very close. When you smell it off the tester strip, like I said, the second you spray this on, 
you know immediately what that is. I think between the two that this is a little closer as far as what they're cloning. Not that this is not close, just that one is like. All right, we got Revere next. All uh, white packaging here should be Honor Man. Uh, same style as the Interlude clone over here. I do think that the, uh, the look of this one maybe looks a little bit higher end between the two. Uh, not that that one looks poor or anything, but oh, yep, yeah, look at that. Oh, odd man out. The bottle here, again, with that amouage look. Uh, this one, yeah, hmm, what's going on there? Let's spray Revere on. Let's see how this one is. Uh, Honor Man, a lesser known uh, amouage fragrance, really. Ooh, yes, that's right away. Don't even have to let it dry down. Don't have to let it settle. Just really, really classy. It's got a nice elegance to it. Pepper in there, fresh spices, incense -y, woody, uh, clean woody. <laughs> clean woody. <laughs> really, really well done, once again. Honor is, as I said, not really a hype beast as far as amouage fragrances go, but it is very easy to wear. Oh yeah, wow, that, I don't know, the interlude slaps right off the, the rip. It, yeah, that one's packing. This is my favorite of the three. Yeah, ooh, that's strong, off the strip. Mm, as far as <laughs> more ease of use, Honor Man is the easiest to use of the three. Well, let's go ahead and do the last here, uh, North Stag. This is uh, four, it's a cat, right? Un, deux, trois, cat, <laughs> I think. On du trois cat sank seat whatever notes mandarin orange Sicilian orange bergamot simple love the color on this one looks fantastic grab the bottle oh it, it fell off <laughs> like wow it's like really great oh <laughs> the the glue has come undone. <laughs> quality. Move that to where it's supposed to be. All right, let's spray this on. I'm hoping for another just absolute killer here. Come on, atomizer. There we go. All right. Let's go. Woo! Oh, <laughs> citrus. Yes. My God, <laughs> that's a lot of citrus there. It smells awesome. Again, kind of candied. I think it's supposed to be afternoon swim, this one. Let's see. Oh, dude. Ramped up citrus, though. Like, sort of a candied orange, but still very fresh. A little tiny touch of, of tartness there. It smells great. These are like summertime monsters, these two. You know, the jury would be out as far as uh, longevity because this is just the first time I'm smelling them. And sometimes when you have a citrus fragrance that's really forward with the citrus, the performance is not amazing. It says these are straight though, right? Yeah, like straight to Parfum it says. Dude, the openings of these are just, you would just spray this on over and over again. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry, but this is like, I could bathe in this stuff. My nose is getting overrun at this point. I think it's starting to shut down. Yep, <laughs> it's on its last legs. I can feel it shutting down. These are just, <sighs> they smell so good. As far as um, citrus forward scents go, the quality is, is great off the bat. Both uh, takes on Louis Vuitton. Just, I can't say enough about these. The glue, maybe you work on the glue and the bottles, they're fine, but yeah, this stuff is, this is great. These are, these are great. This is straight up Brack, Brack Obama, Brack with Space Ghost, Brack and Brackish. This is it. That's freaking awesome too. This is Honor Man, of course. Um, the issue with that one is just gonna be that Honor Man, a lot of people don't find super exciting, but it is competently done, easy to wear good office fragrance. Yeah, great work fragrance, really. Classy, sophisticated, but still good enough to wear casually 
as well. And then uh, interlude, it's interlude. Off-putting opening for a lot of people. Oregano, like I said, incensey, quite incensey, woody, with a little animalic tinge to it. Maybe even slightly more animalic than actual interlude. Maybe not, I'd have to wear them side by side, but picking that up from that one every time I smell it. So there we go. Biggest surprise is how stonking good these are. That was unexpected. Uh, but North Stag, I got my eyes on. Anything North Stag at this point, I'm probably scooping. This is fantastic, the Bracken Man one. And these two are both uh, very good as well uh, for more specific usages over here. These are just like summertime killers. These, of course, you know, you would use them when you would use the M-Wash. All right, here we go, nice. If you have smelled any of these, let me know what you think about them. I'm telling you guys, this stuff, spring, summertime, bathe in it. I can, my nose is coming back right now, I can smell it again. Oh, dude, oh, dude, dude, dude. Okay, I'm out of here. Thank you guys, stay safe out there. See you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys later.